Ok, pues ya estamos... Ay, ya estamos grabando. Vamos a... O sea, espérate. Un segundo, tío. ¿Qué está pasando? Que se me ha puesto esto en modo ventana, creo. Uh... Pantalla completa, ¿no? No entiendo nada. Un segundín. Más fácil así. Ahora, ahora. Ya está, ya está. Vale, pues vamos a empezar con Blood and Wine. A ver. No tenemos no miedo, buen Milton, look. Get out. In the flesh. Hail, Witcher. Let us go inside and greet you as befits an old friend. You fear not. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws soon. Oh, vaya armaduras, tío. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin, I told you, the Griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer. We would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Peyron and Palmer and de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison had left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, We have a matter we must present to you. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Farmerland wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> But I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands, ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. They are coming. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. <laughs>
Park. Contemptible cars. <laughs> he mean us? I, Palmer and Delon Fall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> Oops. I could jest that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off before we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or, or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> if Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a feared of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Vaya. <laughs> Se lió. Coño de la madre. Hola. A ver, por favor. They not emerge. It is over. We have banished the scoundrels, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ah, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home, and we shall. 
Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... ...is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Cross City's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Voy al baño, ahora vengo y seguimos. Vale, a ver. Anna Henrietta really say all that word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, "Bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. <laughs> Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is." <laughs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever, and the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? 
The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Well, the feast goers none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect. But of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's Errand, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, ...demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! Pues a Tosant. Nuevo. Nuevo territorio. Mm, se me ha olvidado cambiar las monedas. Pero no lo he visto. Ahora he visto el mensaje aquel. Exactly how I remembered it. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron! <risa> ¿Qué cojones? Pero tío Espera, yo tengo que tener algún alguna bomba o algo para para aturdirlo, quizá. Llega a los rivales que estén dentro del radio de la explosión.
Libera una nube de fragmentos de mirita que bloquea la magia y las habilidades mágicas de los monstruos. Contiene fragmentos de plata que impiden temporalmente que los monstruos se transformen. Tengo que tener algún aceite quizá también. Dracónidos, espectros y necro... No, me cago en Dios. Creo que no ha servido de mucho. No, no sirve. Mola como lo, lo, eh, como lo he congelado, tío. Dios. Tío, You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath, rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this... The Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Madre de Dios. Con el cuchillo pequeño. <risa> Ay. Vale. Voy a subir un poco los gráficos, que supongo que irá bien el juego, quiero decir. Tanto el, o sea, el juego irá bien, el directo y, y el vídeo que, que se está grabando. Um... Porque es que el sitio este es precioso, tío. Tengo que hacer una foto. Voy a ponerme a jugar aquí un segundo, espera. Cámara. 
rotación, campo de visión. Vale. Ha sido rápido, ha sido rápido. Ok. Y ahora en teoría el trofeo... ¿Eh? ¿Qué me da? Ah, bueno. Prefiero el que llevo ahora. Coño, yo llevaba uno. Espérate, ¿dónde está? Ah, vale, está puesto. Pues no lo veo. Ahí. Voy a jugar... No sé cuánto llevaré Pero jugaré cerca de una hora Muy mediterráneo, ¿eh? Todo esto. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Espinoso, ¿qué es esto? Puta madre. Dios. Cuando explotan lanza las espinas, puede ser. Sí. Hostia, colega. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Gonna dive in, make sure they didn't miss anything. Por aquí me sigue saliendo... La zona.
Realmente no sé si es que me estoy dejando algo. Accessory clearly. Be nice to know where they took the corpse. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. <laughs> Current brought the body here. Creo que sé quién eres. The corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat, and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. Algo, algo me lo ha... He tenido una intuición. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. Más o menos, ¿qué estáis escribiendo los dos a la vez o qué? Uno con cada mano. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems ah, vale, vale. Un segundín, que miro una cosa. Ah, vale, vale. Pues atended, atended, hombre. No lo faltaría. Que lo primero es lo primero. Hasta luego. <risa> Madre mía. Voy más rápido este. No. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Pomrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. A watering oh. hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Tucson. <laughs> Porque no vamos a caballo, tío. Bueno, supongo que nos está haciendo la guía turística. Tablón de anuncios, estupendo. My troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Not else, Sir de Peyrac Paven. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. 
I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrak Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchery trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find a corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, El cielo. and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone go by? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned. I hear the sky was red again. I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright. I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it... Hostia, Jennifer. What? Why Corfo Bianco? Qué fuerte. Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. Ya se ha dado cuenta. Ah, no, no es Jennifer, ¿no? <ríe> Hostia, vale. <ríe> es que es igual. Chao, chao. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's nights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent. Let him talk. The duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codswell. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast, besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Santois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here. 
near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Beren. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Melvin. And good luck. Madre mía. Te voy a ver si, si tiene algo para comer este hombre. Que me iría bastante bien. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I bet you. What next? Vinagre por vino. Vinagre por vino. Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about the same, no nothing. Show me what you got in stock. Coño, qué cantidad de cartas que tiene este hombre, tú. Eh, no, no, yo quiero comer Comida Ah, sí, está bien ¿Has oído algún? ¿Qué? Espérate Algún rumor, a ver Asked a serious question. Hmm, and the tactless one. I do not if struck on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Thanks. So long. Madre mía. Esta noche quiero verlo, eh. Tiene que estar bastante bien. Se busca el lobo blanco. Se requiere al brujo Geralt de Rivia, conocido como el lobo blanco, para servir de guía. Su posible patrón le garantiza una cuantiosa paga por este inusual contrato. Torneo de Gwent. No. Contrato para brujos. Así ya tenemos alguna misión por aquí. ¿Los de Tusant están en el Wend? Ahora no lo sé. En el Wend me refiero el de... El juego. No el minijuego de aquí. ¿Otro gigante o qué? Un segundo, voy a mirar... Es que me, me sigue diciendo que... Que busque pistas y tal. O sea que voy a hacerlo. Throat torn open by man like jaws, man like 
Vampiro. No, pero es de día. Una lamia. Estará en la sección de vampiros, supongo, en la sección. Será, será la de antes. Ay. Polvo lunar la tengo. Aceite para vampiros no. Sangre negra tampoco. Irden. Bueno, polvo lunar... Igual lo he dicho muy rápido. Aceite para vampiros. Aceite para vampiros. Porque tengo el mejorado y el superior, pero el, el normal no, tío. ¿En serio? Polvo lunar tengo una. Pone. Lo de la sangre negra. Espérate. ¿Estás pellejando?
Es dura, ¿eh? Chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Mierda. Body was blow creature that killed. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. The spare? Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. So, murderer was clearly a monster. Not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it so warm? <laughs> what are now, how it chopped down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmer in to get me in to see the Duchess. Vale, voy a ver cuánto cuánto llevo. Mm. Una y media. Vale. Como llevo ya casi una hora. Y bueno, más de tres en directo. Eh, y tengo que hacer la comida y todo esto. Lo, lo voy a ir dejando por aquí. Guardamos. Y bueno, seguiré. Obviamente, porque esto está muy interesante. ¿Cuándo? No lo sé. Igual mañana o más tarde. No lo sé. Así que, lo dicho, nos vemos, nos vemos luego. Chao, chao.